so cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so check periodic trends. Uh, let's draw our first little summary. And then we'll talk about the concepts. Okay. So you want to know that there's trends that increase as you go down the periodic table to the left, if the periodic table is a rectangle. And there's trends that increase as you go up and to the right. So as long as you know these trends, uh, you're pretty good to go. So, uh, and I'll explain the concepts in a second, but something called shielding or screening inc increases as you go down and left, so it's more shielded down here. Uh, another thing that follows that trend is the radius R. Going the opposite way, uh, things like ionization energy and electron affinity and Z effective. And then going, you can also put it on these lines, your text happens to put as a diagonal. Going up that way, you begin, become more non-metallic. And going down this way, you become more metallic. So that would mean more characteristics of a metal, so more malleable, more conductive, etc. Okay, so those are the general trends. I think that's pretty much all of them. Okay, of uh, there, there's some other ones you can put on here, but that's kind of the basic that your book goes over. Now, why the heck this is true? It's based on Z-effective and shielding, which are totally related to each other. So to understand why the others are true, you need to understand the Z-effective and the shielding. What did EA stand for? EA is activation energy. No, no, no. Wrong class. Uh, electron affinity. Yeah, yeah. IE is ionization energy. Okay, now why that's true? Well, first of all, the concept of screening. If this is the nucleus and we have the core electrons here and the valence electrons on the outside. So when you're doing your, uh, what should I call it? Your electron configurations like 1s2, 2s2, 2p. Everything that would be the noble gas configuration that you put in a bracket when you write your electron configuration and it's neon or krypton or argon, that's core electrons. Everything that you'd actually write out, uh, 4s2, 3d10, 4p, whatever, that's your valence electrons. Okay. Um, valence electrons are the ones that are involved in bonding, that's why we care about them. Well, let's say this has five protons. That means that Z, the atomic number, so this is called the atomic number, or it's also called the nuclear charge. Essentially, nuclear charge, it's the number of protons, in this case, five. So you look at your periodic table, the smaller number, that's Z the number of protons. Let's say there's five protons in there, the core electrons will see all those protons. They are essentially not shielded from seeing them, they are not blocked, is another way you could, you, word you could use. The valence electrons are blocked by the core electrons to see all those. So effectively, the valence electrons might only see three of the five. So we call that Z effective, the effective nuclear charge, is three, or whatever they see. Let's say they can't see all five. So it's kind of like the, the, you're in the movies and a really tall person with a big hat sits in front of you. You can't see Tom Cruise in the movie, so effectively there's one less actor, okay? That's the basic idea. So you're effectively blocked. Um, and so that concept is called screening or shielding when you're blocked from seeing the nucleus. Screening or shielding. Okay, so far so good? 
All right, I'm going to erase this now. Now, let's say we have our periodic table. I'll just draw a little smaller, a rectangular in shape. Can you imagine, let's say here's our <coughs> nucleus. We've got some core electrons here. Can you imagine as you're getting, as you're going down the periodic table, you're getting more orbits. More orbits, more and more orbits as you go down. N, the principal quantum number, is increasing. So it's getting bigger and bigger. Can you see how the fools way out here, these electrons, have a harder and harder time seeing the, the nucleus? It's too much stuff in the way for them to see this. So they are more shielded um, as you go down the periodic table, or more screened. So shielding increases as you go down the periodic table. Is that why it takes less energy to take to like get rid of the electron? Right, so that's why it takes less electric energy when you're way up here to remove electrons. So the more shield it is, the ionization energy is smaller. Because it's just way out here, it's easy to pluck it off. Okay, so that's okay. Also, so is shielding, is you increase shielding? Can you see how you decrease Z effective? They're opposites. Meaning, it sees less and less protons. So the Z, the number of protons, is smaller. Effectively, how many protons you see is a smaller number. So those are always opposites. So the bigger it's getting, the smaller Z effective is. The effective nuclear charge, what those electrons see is smaller.